media for a while and you watch my stories and especially when I talk about beauty products because I get sent so many things there's a lot that I try that just didn't work for my skin just because my face is so acne prone and very very sensitive right now I just did my skincare I have nothing on my face honestly zero to 100 my skin has changed so much and I do not have a single pimple on my face right now I just want to talk about some of my few skincare products but more in particular today I just want to talk about one brand that I really really love goop I have been using goop for so many years I got introduced with their skincare products then to body and then to some of their more bath and home stuff and I'm obsessed I have so many products by them there I did get sent a few new products so I, I want to share that with you guys I'm gonna show you what I've been using what I love why I love them and yeah I mean if you have ever tried a goop product yourself you know how amazing and great it is this is my skincare drawer filled to the brim I also have these bins that are filled with skincare body stuff I have a lot in there but honestly way too embarrassed to even show that maybe I'll do a little cleaning montage montage when I get to it one day but in this drawer I pretty much have everything that I usually reach for or stuff that I haven't even touched yet that I just want to be giving away to friends and family. I pulled out all of my favorite goop products and then stuff that I've also just recently got gifted. First is skin and this is right now my favorite product by goop. Their body oil. I don't know what is in this thing but it is incredible especially when I was going through my breast augmentation surgery in January and I wanted something on my skin that was really soft and gentle and that I could use to massage my boobs with. This is my second bottle of this and this lasts me quite some time. Like I've had this since fall of last year and I probably use it like three or four times a week. It smells amazing and it actually doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. It just leaves it feeling and looking super hydrated. I tend to use it right after I take a deep shower where I'm like doing a lot of shaving and exfoliating. And I usually just only do this once a week on the weekend when I have a lot of time to spend in the shower. Typically during the week I'm just in and out just mostly because I'm probably doing a workout and then headed off to somewhere or I have to start work. So on the weekends I love using this Microderm Instant Glow Body Polish. So these come together really nicely as a set so in the shower after i do my regular body wash i'll go ahead and use this scrub it's super gentle it doesn't hurt your skin and the beads are actually quite nice and it literally leaves your body feeling like a baby's bottom and who doesn't love that so this is the goop bath salt it's called the martini emotional detox bath soap <laughs> it has himalayan pink salt and chia seed oil it's just really hydrating for your skin it helps your muscles relax I love doing this when I've just had a really intense couple of days and I'm feeling really tired and there's knots in my body and I've been working out a lot, I put a ton of it in my shower. I wanna buy more of this and put it in a nice big glass jar with a little spoon. So I might go out this weekend and try and find something to put this in, but this is great. I mean, in terms of bath salts, I feel like you can get really basic ones that pretty much do the same thing, but I love the way that this one feels and smells and I just, I like that it's from Goop. So now we're gonna move on to face. This this is a new product by Goop. This is their Vita C Brightening Eye Cream. This is incredible, magic in a little container. Honestly, putting this on, now I'm starting to realize the effects and how brightening it is and how awake it literally makes you look. Like, I don't know if I've ever used an eye cream that makes me look awake. And it has amazing ingredients. I've only used this this week. Almost makes me look like I'm wearing concealer, but I'm not. Like, it's not tinted or pigmented like that. Yeah, this stuff is incredible. I love this Flower Acids Resurfacing Toner. I haven't used this toner in quite some time. Just mostly because I was avoiding any toners with acid in it for my skin as I was going through some medications and stuff to help with my acne but when I did use this I really love it it's very gentle I'm probably going to start using this soon sometime I just want to wait a little bit longer to tell my skin is feeling good this has been a constant in my routine dark spot exfoliating sleep milk because my skin has been healing from acne I just have a lot of redness and hyperpigmentation on my skin a couple times a week i'll use this at night put a layer on after i've washed my face put some hydrating toner on and then i'll do this and then just my moisturizer and no other harsh ingredients and actives on my face i have used tubs and tubs of this stuff it's the goop jeans all-in-one nourishing face cream Erin's used this. I've used this on and off over the past two years and I actually think this might be my longest using product by Goop because I remember a long time ago I got gifted this and I was just like obsessed. I went through tubs of this, 
So I actually think this might be my fourth in the span of like two years or so. I feel like it's a classic in their skincare line and it's definitely worth trying out. This is a little bit more expensive, especially if you get the full size, but it's so worth it and you don't need a lot. You can just use a little bit because it is very thick if you've got naturally oily skin. Next up is the Clean Nourishing Lip Balm Trio. They have, I think, two different sets of colors in these. These feel great. I am a full-on sucker for packaging and I pulled up these two that are not looking too cute right now because I've used them so much, but I have them in in this little pink color. My camera's not focusing, I'm sorry. A regular balm that I use almost every day and I keep it on my bedside table. I have never tried this before. It is stunning. These are vitamin C hyaluronic acid glow serum. I really wanna give this a go. I am just going through some other vitamin C products right now. I don't wanna open this because you do have to mix the stuff together and I feel like the efficacy of the product is just going to go away if I open it right now just for the sake of the video. But I will start it and when I do start using it, I will share here and report back on YouTube how it is. But I also just really like the box and the packaging of everything here. That was my long rant on everything goop. But nice. I, I love I love the brand. I have decided to make some banana bread. I have all of my ingredients laid out here. I love putting walnuts and chocolate chips on the top of my banana bread. But I'll put the recipe here up on the screen it's honestly the best banana bread recipe and it's super easy to make they put a lot less sugar than what is required especially because my bananas are super ripe the last time i made this banana bread actually the last two times i made this banana bread i feel like i just messed up and i think it was because i was not very detailed in my measurement of butter so the whole thing turned out really weird but literally every other time i've ever made this a banana bread for friends family they've all loved it and it's turned out perfectly so Fingers crossed today because I really want to eat some of this right now. I've been still feeling quite under the weather since getting back from Cancun and my quick trip to Toronto. So this week has just been like a full, full reset of just doing things around the house, resting my body, and I haven't been working out as much. What could make me feel better? Making banana bread. This is the state of the banana bread currently, and now I'm going to put some brown sugar on top and then my chocolate chips and my nuts. It is all ready to go. The oven's ready now, so I'm going to put it in and let's see what it looks like in about... 40 minutes. Ta -da! Here's my banana bread. It is gorgeous. Stunning. I cut into it. Have a slice. Probably give one to Erin as well, but I feel like I hit the nail on the head with this one. And the thing I love about making banana bread is that my apartment smells so amazing. It smells like just bananas and sugar, which I, you know, who doesn't love that? This one just came and arrived from Amazon. I can't remember the last time I was so excited about anything I, that I ordered on Amazon, but I just got these clear organizers. It came with a ton of different dividers. Also came with these little stickers that you can use to stick on the bottom so that it doesn't move in your drawers. And these little ones will be perfect for like my little hair ties and stuff. And this is what I've got, which gives me so much anxiety, but we just have to go through it. just got out of nature folk which is a kind of like a wellness spa did the sauna for about an hour there's like an infrared sunlight sauna so that was really nice i haven't done that in a really long time and i really enjoy it so i feel like i want to go back buy package and then just kind of go once a week for the next little while that was really good we've both been feeling quite under the weather so we kind of needed that on this morning and then we stopped at a new cafe two if by sea i got a dirty ice chai which is really good we also got some croissants i'm gonna try that when we're probably back at home. We got a prosciutto and an almond. We love croissants. And then Aaron got a hot apple cider. I feel amazing, super awake. Like our appointment for the sauna was at eight o'clock and that was really, really nice. So I just, I feel like I really needed that after having a really tired, long, I know that you should be doing this at least once a week, but I don't wear makeup that much anymore enough to kind of do it every single week But every two weeks or every three weeks I'll go ahead and clean all of my makeup brushes I'm just gonna clean the ones that I'm using daily and then leave the ones that I only use on vacation for another time just because feeling a little bit lazy and I don't have that much time to do it. I just went out and got this QO makeup brush cleaning mat and it's got a bunch of different textures on it to help make sure all that makeup and oils are off of your brushes. So I'm gonna use this and I know that the back of this sticks on to the sink. 
and I went out and got this Myers Clean Day dish soap. I know that a lot of people use this for their makeup brushes. I don't know if this is the best thing to use. I did have an Eco Tools makeup brush cleaner that I just ran out of, so this is why I had to go out and get a new one, but I'm excited to use this. Mm -hmm. I just went ahead and decided to clear out two of my makeup brush containers. I don't know why, but that was so therapeutic to do. And it's just nice knowing that every single one of my brushes is really clean. And whether or not I used them recently, I felt like because they were like just sitting in the bathroom collecting dust and stuff, I just wanted to make sure that they were all in very clean condition. Before I close out this vlog, I just want to show you guys a few things that I got in PR this week. I got a pair of burgundy shoes from browns these are loafers i really like these i have a few black ones but i feel like these are going to be really nice to switch out my outfits for spring and summer another shoe item platform shoes from call it spring i feel like these are very in and they were in last year and i feel like they're still going to be in this year and this is perfect for me because i'm five foot two so when i go with my taller girlfriends i like wearing a little bit of something with heel and stuff on it this is going to be really nice and i like that it's black so pretty much wear it with anything another package I got from is Nipsey Daisy. They sell a bunch of boob tape, nipple covers. Now that I have boobs, I can actually use these because prior to getting my boob job, I didn't really need to use any type of tape for clothes and stuff like that. It's really nice. It comes with this card where it shows you how to use the different tapes for different shirts and how to apply it and how to remove it. So this one I got is a roll of tape. They have a bunch of different options for matching skin tone. So I got this one. Felt like that was closest to mine. Then in here, I got some nipple covers. I feel like these are pretty standard. And then the last thing I have here, I got a bunch of double-sided tape, which is handy. I have double-sided tape that comes in a container that looks like scotch tape, but this one comes in a booklet and they have different sizes. So a thicker one, thinner one, and then a really thin one. This is from Forever and a Day. They sent me their swimwear and this is so cute. I wish I had this before I went to Cancun because this one just for some reason fits so nicely on my hip. And I love the pattern on it. It's so pretty. And then the shirt looks like this. So you put it around your neck and then you tie it in the back, kind of like a bandeau style, but with straps on it. Can't wait to wear it in the summertime. The last package I have is from Petite Moments. It's a jewelry brand, little cute cute handwritten note. Hi Lizzie, we hope you love your new PM pieces. Can't wait to see how you style them um, from the team. I love personalized notes and I keep all of these actually and I have kept every single one of these notes that I get from brands ever since I started making content like a year and a half ago. I got a few pieces. The first one is a gold ring. I'm obsessed with the style and it fits in my middle middle finger next one is a necklace i feel like this is going to be perfect for summer like that beaded look beach, beach vibe and then i got it looks like a tennis necklace with stone in the middle and that's what I got for PR, I have a few new items coming in next week. I actually ordered something from Rode. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for them to come to Canada for so long. I saw that they had a launch party in Toronto, which looked super fun. As soon as I got my email about Rode coming to Canada, I placed an order immediately. And you guys bet I will be doing a review on what I think of all of the products, so I can't wait. But I'm gonna end off this video here, and I think for my next video, should be coming up soon, is on my breast augmentation. Keep an eye out for that one because that one's gonna be good. It took me some time in around making it, but I wanted to at least have a few months of recovery so that I could really kind of give a start to end review on like my whole boob job process and what that was like and how it's been and how things have changed over time. So that will probably be my next video and it'll be more of a sit down style video. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.